What was the copium that we had going into Blue Lock Season 2 after the first couple episodes? Guys, just hope that they save the budget. U20 arc. And then we watched the U20 trailer. <laughs> you saw the trailer. And a trailer is supposed to highlight the best moments, to catfish you, the audience, to give you more hope and delusion that it might be good. But <laughs> the trailer was... But here's the newest level of copium. I'm not just saving the budget for the U20. I'm gonna guess that the last like five minutes of actual match time is gonna be the super hype moment. So they're gonna save the actual budget for the real U20 moments at the very end. Yup, that is our new level of gope. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Another fight? <laughs> Yo, Shiro scrapping again? Shiro ka? Datta ra ano gomi ace o member. Nai kedo. Sendo wa orera ni tochi ai. I wonder if that star player striker is actually good. Like, what if he's trash? Cause like right now, the way that Shiro and Sai has been shitting on him last episode, like honestly, even like all of U20 just feels mid their team, except Oliver and like the defensive back. Other than the striker, and he's already getting shit on, it seems like everything from mid to front sucks, but like the defenders are supposed to be really good for U20. Good. <laughs> Get them out. Maybe some blue lock subs can play on the U20 team, but that kind of defeats the purpose because there's a conflict of interest of us trying to survive because we gotta win no matter what. Good, leave. Sai will just play by himself. Odiverse ass. He got no cheeks. No! No! Shido already got kicked off of blue lock 11. My goat has came to U20 to have fun, but then again, he... I don't really blame him. He literally assaulted their star striker immediately. <laughs> but like, Shido, come on, he can't get kicked off of here too. Where's he gonna go? I want my wild card Joker. Okay. I like Oliver. He seems very chill and level-headed. Okay. No handshake. <laughs> Fuck you. No respect. Like, is Sai really that good that he can talk down to Oliver like this? Maybe I'm underestimating Sai, bro. Or maybe he's underestimating Oliver. What if there's a rude awakening that Sai isn't all that hot shit and Oliver's legit? I don't know. We'll have to see when the game actually plays out. Aye, aye. The big stage. Are we gonna play the soccer match today or are we just gonna stall again? It's the day of the match. <sighs> You're gonna main your peak performance? Wow, so many frames. So weird to see Blue Lock, the animation, when they're not playing soccer. Because it actually looks good. Like everything there, it just like, even the last episode, right? When they're not playing soccer, this actually looks like an anime. That's right, they gotta whore out Bachira, you know? They gotta do the all the animation for Bachira. Gotta sell the uh, BL merch. <laughs> Bro wakes up and the first thing he does is grind his dailies. Reo. Mr. One-on-one -on -one duelist. Oh, Nico's doing a lot of homework. Power crypt. Power crypt. Holy shit, did you see the soy sauce move there? Look at the animation of the food table as it moves. Like, that is impressive, that, like, the water move. Like, but, like, why is the water moving? Why is the soy sauce in the water cup, why is the fluid moving? You should be doing that in the soccer matches. Like, this is amazing. Just do this shit in the soccer matches, too. <laughs> the 
different product does he fucking need? Holy shit, he takes like two hours to get ready. Okay, princess. Gram, gram, gram. Bro still work. Oh, it's Baru. I thought it was, uh, you know, Rin. <laughs> they don't even know what the matchup is. It's a secret project though, right? Blue Lock. Is it called a diamond generation? What the fuck is this? Why are they actually moving? Dude, you don't move in these soccer matches though. Run, run, legs are moving. Arms are moving. You, 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 you're just using all the budget for everything but the soccer matches. It blows my mind. Also, one second, one second. Technical difficulty. My god, look how smooth the fucking phone is scrolling, guys. Oh, backstory. Young Oliver. Hmm. This is interesting characterization and backstory, which hints that Oliver never was able to play the style he wanted to. The nipping of the bud here shows his potential growth into his own style being cut short. So maybe during this match, his entire thing will be like going back to the roots and developing that latent potential that he never used. <laughs> now that's more like it. <laughs> it. This isn't bad. I think it actually makes sense to, you know, you want to show up, you know, the day-to-day, -day, you know, worker is just getting ready. But something about this is hilarious. Just, just think that the shit moving really fast is hilarious. Peak. And, 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 and you guys say there's no frames in blue lock. You guys say that there's no frames in blue lock. Don't you see the copy cut, you know, same fucking models moving so fast. Wow. It just keeps going. Cool. Meditation. Backstory. Big bro. Damn, you fucked up your toys. Looks like there's like a lot of good memories with big bro. And the toys are good again. He just wants to go back to the old days. Brick bro, why did you leave me? Everyone just simply for Sai. All right, here's the PPT pirate presentation. <laughs> what is that? Blue Luck mascot? It's pretty cute, actually. This looks fun. Everything's it's like a festival, a big party. Because <laughs> they can't get a picture with you know Sai. So not even Oliver or like the other guy. They all just want a picture with Sai, man. No one gives a fuck about you two any other than Sai. Dude, all the ladies, they just want to pose a side in the middle. And the only jersey sale happening is Sai, man. Brurok merch. Ego. <laughs> I love this. Ego is basically, no one's listening, but look at, look at the words he's saying. Based on my arbitrary and biased decision making, as in like, listen, there's no science here. I'm just doing whatever I think is right, okay? Based on my arbitrary and biased decision making. Yeah, I just chose them. No one's paying attention to Ego. Damn, he gets no respect, man. Poor Ego. Kid likes it, maybe? Uh, am I supposed to know these two? Is it parents of a characters that we know? I'm not sure. Isaki. Oh, Isaki, mom and dad. Isaki, mom and dad. Oh, who is this? Important other characters? New girl? She, I feel like, uh, is a gold digger. I don't think she gives a fuck about the soccer commentary.
<laughs> yeah, before, did we see Chiggity parents? No, there was a character that did kind of resemble Chiggity though. It was like before this, before this, when we first entered the building, I think. Hold up, hold up. At some point, I feel like somebody that resembled Chiggity. This is a bit too far back. If we go in and in, on the left side, I remember there was like two girls. I think there might have been Chiggity. There. This. Yeah, this, right? Mom and sister. No, this isn't sister. This is big brother. This isn't mom. This is dad. <laughs> this is Chiggy's dad and big brother. <laughs> the most masculine <laughs> siblings and <laughs> parents that exist. <laughs> you know how the fanboy, fanboy genes go. Is there a bunch of that too? I don't know, but uh, okay, okay. Let's, let's get back to it. Let's get back to it. Let's, we were right over here. <laughs> Ignored. Ooh, that's not too good. <laughs> Imagine how that feels. Like, oh, I'm here for my son, and someone like someone super important and professional saying like, yep, they're just a bunch of failed high school kids, so who cares? <laughs> they are whoring him out. Okay, what is wrong with this guy though? This guy looks like a school shooter. I'm worried about him, like particularly. Diamond generation. Oh, some love for Sendo and Oliver. The mass begins now. Oh boy. I'm worried. We can go further. We can beat you 20. Go for the world stage after. Yeah, yeah, we're Ooh, talking at the... yeah. I mean, he was always, you know, classy dressed up in like a button down shirt, right? You know, but he's ripped out today too. Looking clean, ego. Okay, here's our bench. Ishikari, Raichi, Reo, Baro's on it. Tokimitsu, Surugi, Igarashi, Kiroya, Nanase, Hiyori. Nanase and Hiyori both made it, huh? Kurona, Kiragi. Okay, I'm most excited about Baro, but let's. Igarashi is the monk, right? So I'm excited for the monk. And if this is the monk, I'm excited for the monk and Baro. And a lot of people glaze Rayo. And like anime only, it's hard to believe that Rayo is like an important character other than just being tied to Nagi. But like, you never know. Like, he could really be next level. Three subs. Baro, your moment to shine, my king. Like, like how does he get it? It feels fraudulent at this point. Bro kind of got carried by just riding on the coattails of Shido, right? Up until the selection part. But then after that, he still made it in. But I didn't really get to see him play that much. What does he do? I don't know. He's, he's here though. I and, and, like, and like, Kunigami's not in. Like if you watch season one of Blue Lock, and you give a person that was Blue Lock season one an option between Monk and Kunigami, who do you think is going to go further? It's pretty obvious that you would choose Ichigo, right? You would choose Kunigami, but like, he's here. <laughs> he's benched. <laughs> yeah, he assaulted their starting, you know, striker already. That's actually so stupid. Shido got like put in like a straight jacket because he assaulted, you know, Rin. Then again, Rin, you know, punched him first, but still. But like, after you get in trouble for assaulting another player, you get sent to a different team, then what do you do? You assault their star striker immediately. Shido was crashing out like crazy. Oh. It's time to reveal you to the world. Yeah. Hype. That's motivational, man. Here we go. And I think that uh, we should have a warning. I think that's where the budget ends. <laughs> they animate everything but the soccer moment. So here we go. Just, just get your expectations down. Get your standards down. We're going to be watching a PowerPoint presentation from now on. Oh, boy. Yo. I can hear the audience outside. 
The art looks stunning. Yo, where's Big Bro at? This is gonna be such an awkward lineup. Oh my god, so passive aggressive. Both the same numbers too. Yo, Big Bro. I don't think Big Bro cares. <laughs> like, Big Bro lives rent free in Rin's head. But Big Bro doesn't give a fuck. Right? Does he even realize Rin is in the same room? <laughs> Gram. Oh shit. That's the craziest thing. Is that Ego's great idea was to gather only strikers. And still someone has to play keeper. And imagine that you have a U20 goalie, someone who's like an elite athlete that's been trained private lessons, had the ultimate environment to dedicate himself to the art of goalkeeper. Then you have this mountain idiot show up and say, Today's my first time playing keeper. Can you give me some tip? And imagine that Blue Lock wins. Imagine that Blue Lock 11 beats a U20 with the keeper that's never played fucking keeper, bro. Just, just keep that in mind. But remember, the backstory of Gagamaru, he's a mountain boy. He's like wrestling wolves and bears and wolves and like fucking boars and shit, right? He is a built like a truck. <laughs> Yeah. No, I want Shiro in though. Nah, Shiro will show up as a sub. Maybe Oliver will teach Isaki something. There seems to be a matchup here. Signs before warning to before disaster, but the CGI I put there already just kind of told me, uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. And you can feel the crowd. Woo. Come on! You can't have the CGI here to break the immersion! This is such a monumental moment for Isaki to step on the stage. This national stage, the crowd is packed. The fucking volume, the audience, I can feel it. And then you show me CGI feet, bro, come on. Oh shit, we got the play by play. Okay, this guy looks like the goat. Natsuki san looks like he's gonna give us some goaded commentary. You're on the national stage, man. Hopefully, well. Let's go. That's a good mindset. Oh. Yo, the far aura is out. He's locked in. Okay. The fuck? I think the fact that Rin would even, you know, slap Isagi on the back shows that, like, we've gotten close. This isn't something you would do to a complete stranger. I feel like there's a level of friendship here, man. Isagi was definitely gliding there, though. Come on. They're really padding last time. Let's go. Here we go. Oh boy. It's time. Oh shit. Here we go. Mm. The triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. イトシリンをアントップにした4号1スタイル。しかしこれは守備の時のものと考え、この中核のキーマン。カラスタビトが位置を下げ、リバックを形成。シュー。なるほど。そして両サイドバックが2つを掛けた。ナイトロフォーメ
All right, Bachida, let's see it. Yo, Bachida's with the hair like this looks so different now. Come on, move, move. Yo, gozanska. Oh, 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 that, 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 that turn there was kind of cool. The CGI pivot at the top of the ball. I don't know how to feel about that, but the rest of it was kind of cool, right? Okay, okay. I see it, I see it. The main character. Love you. <laughs> Don't jinx yourself. Uh oh, you jinx yourself. Sai. Oh shit. Oliver is the boa constrictor? What? You were trapped. Serpent aura. I mean, he's the main defense guy. Basically, physical gap. Like, nobody would ever thought that someone could reach this. But Oliver, you know, he's got like, he's like a, what, half Swedish, half Japanese or some shit? He got them Viking jeans. Ooh. Ooh, boy. Foreigner gap, bro. Gaijin gap. I mean, he is a captain. You know what? Good point. What the fuck is a commentator? There's no need for a play-by-play -play commentator. Because, like, Isaki is the play-by-play -play commentator. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. These, these, like, because he, he, he basically narrates the entire play-by-play. -play. Uh, Captain. Aiku. Yo. Yeah, and you're the cop? You're gonna lock me up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kinda kinky. Ooh, I'm, I'm a thief, I'm a robber, and you're a cop? You're gonna get me, put me in cuffs, tie me up, maybe? Okay. Still frames, still frames, still frames, still frames. Oh. Yo, he ain't backing down. That's right. I think that, like, Isagi and Oliver has definitely been positioned to, like, learn off of each other. Maybe Oliver won't learn shit, but Isagi definitely will get inspired and, like, be better. Yo, look at the puzzle aura. Not even handcuffs. Because if we truly wanted to just go with the whole cop and robber stuff, you could have just said it's handcuffs. A collar? <laughs> a collar? <laughs> Brother. Freaky motherfucker. Oliver's into it too, bro. <laughs> it's the freakiest soccer match of the century, man. Now, there is a bit of post credit scene, right? We got some blue lock chibi moments. Let's check it out. Yo. の対戦相手アンダー20日本代表白ないデータで敵の情報を予習してこれがエースフォワードの鮮度を習得。エースフォワード決めてる。シュートもスピードもトップレベルみたい。え、本で出てくる意地悪ギ。ミンファックス。オ
He can't beat him in his own mind. Can't be defeated. The oh, fuck is this mosquito Sae? Oh. Alright. Yeah. And that is another episode of Blue Lock. And it's just so funny to me that like everything but the soccer is animated. Like all of these slice of life moments, bro, there's so much movement. There is so much happening. Just the little subtleties of even like the food trays and the water cups and like the soup and the sauces all moving as you put that shit down. The hair moving around. It's crazy. It just blows my mind that they're willing to animate everything but the soccer matches. Now, this use of the CGI for Bachira, there were some cool moments, right? The full speed, you know, max like pivot with the CGI was kind of cool, I guess. And then the actual pivot he did it on the ground was actually drawn. So I, I think that th th there's potential. There's definitely potential. Obviously, a lot of it is just fucking yapping with still frames and balls just moving around. And we're already used to that. But hey, I still feel like we can still have a lot of fun. Mostly just shitting on this show. And that's it for me. If you're still here, though. If you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.